Some might call it a miracle. A man nearly amputates his own arm when he barely escapes a fall from a six-story window at Lido Isle Apartment Buildings. And as SCN's Nicole Dahl reports, it's good that he's now on the road to recovery. I'm holding my baby right now. <laughs> it's moving. It's a miracle. A miracle that Franco Mashi is alive, much less that he can wiggle his fingers. Can you move your fingers for me again? Yeah, look, look child. <laughs> the 40-year-old Italian artist was painting the ceiling of a friend's apartment in this building on Lido Isle earlier this week. That's when the counter he was standing on suddenly gave way, and he crashed through this window six floors up. I grabbed a, a big piece of glass who fall right through my... And at that moment, I saw the stream of blood coming right through my face. Franco managed to stem the blood flow using a tourniquet that he made from his T-shirt, and even though he was weak, he went for help. And surgeons at Hogue Hospital operated on his nearly amputated arm for five hours. We repaired all the uh, arteries, uh, the muscles, the tendons, and uh, all the major nerves in his arm. Press the nail like this, you see how it turns white? Yeah. And when it turns pink again, that means there's plenty of blood flow. If it wasn't for this incredible hands, I could not make it, maybe another painting. But it'll be a while before Franco paints murals like these. He's right-handed, and it could be a year before he'll know if he'll regain full use of his arm. But still, he has faith. I'm expecting uh, from the bad some lots of good. This is Nicole Dahl for OCN. At Orange County, uh, I should say that Masher was planning to open his own gallery here in Orange County, uh, but that will have to wait. He has no insurance and first needs to pay for his medical expenses. The Channel 4 News at 5. So an accident that has changed one artist's life, a miracle surgery might not be enough to save his livelihood. The story of a painter and an accident that has really changed his life. The story of what happened to his arm and the miracle surgery he went through in a live report. An artist in a Newport Beach hospital tonight after surviving a horrible accident. The painter's right arm was ripped apart literally by glass and now he doesn't know if he'll ever be able to paint again. Vicki Vargas live at Hoke Hospital in Newport Beach with more on this ordeal. Vicki? It is a story of courage, Colleen, upstairs here at Hogue Hospital. Franco Mashi recovering from those injuries, grateful to doctors that he still has both arms to put around those he loves. But I always believe in angels. Franco Mashi is certain there was an angel hovering nearby Monday when he nearly it. lost his right arm. Doctors say he severed all the nerves, muscles, and arteries at the elbow. Actually, I say kiss goodbye, Frank, because I saw this blood. That's a fraction of a second or less a lifetime. I saw this blood spreading all over my warm blood, coming like a river from my arm on my face. The 40-year-old artist was faux painting the ceiling in a six-story condominium. When he moved his foot, he fell against a window and for a split second thought he would fall to his death. Push my body gravity in somehow. And the window split and uh, fall right on my arm and cut my arm. Alone and in shock, the Orange County man crawled outside for help, using his mouth to open doors, his tongue to push the elevator button. His determination sparked by the fear of leaving his five-year-old son, Dante, without a father. Doctors spent five hours reattaching Mashi's arm, but say it will be a year before they know if he'll paint again. And obviously, his, his uh, right arm is his life and uh, it's going to be a concern. He's going to need a great deal of work, maybe some future surgeries, and, uh, and certainly a lot of physical therapy. A native of Florence, he has painted all his life. His art adorns the walls of local restaurants. Now Franco Mashi is worried his livelihood is gone. Uh, it's going to take a miracle again. I uh, hope and pray this is going to happen, and everything is going to be okay someday. Self-employed Mashi is once again, he says, a struggling artist, knowing, not knowing rather how long it will be before he could ever work again. Friends are organizing a fund for him right now. Reporting live from Newport Beach, I'm Vicki Vargas. Paul Culling, back to you. Let's hope he can. You're watching Southern California CBS 2 News at 5.
A frightening story with a happy ending in Orange County where a house painter nearly lost his arm in a freak accident. OCN's Nicole Dahl has a story. I'm holding my baby right now. <laughs> it's moving. It's a miracle. A miracle that Franco Mashi is alive, much less that he can wiggle his fingers. Can you move your fingers for me again? Yeah, look, look child. <laughs> the 40-year-old Italian artist was painting the ceiling of a friend's apartment in this building on Lido Isle earlier this week. That's when the counter he was standing on suddenly gave way, and he crashed through this window six floors up. I grab a, a big piece of glass to fall right through my... And at that moment, I saw the stream of blood coming right through my face. Franco managed to stem the blood flow using a tourniquet that he made from his t-shirt, and even though he was weak, he went for help. And surgeons at Hogue Hospital operated on his nearly amputated arm for five hours. We repaired all the uh, arteries, uh, the muscles, the tendons, and uh, all the major nerves in his arm. Press the nail like this, you see how it turns white, and it turns pink again. That means there's plenty of blood flow. If it wasn't for this incredible hands, I could not make it, maybe another painting. But it'll be a while before Franco paints murals like these. He's right-handed, and it could be a year before he'll know if he'll regain full use of his arm. But still, he has faith. I'm expecting uh, from the bad some lots of good. That was OCN's Nicole Dahl reporting.